name is Jesse Combs. I'm originally from the Black Hills of South Dakota, and I now live in the Los Angeles area. Whether you know Jessie Combs from the time she appeared on TV or her feats as a race driver, it's undeniable that she was deeply admired by many people due to her personality, her professional skills, and the awards she collected. That's why it's not a wonder that the news of her tragic death in August 2019 left people both surprised and deeply saddened, also raising many questions as to the exact cause of her passing and how it happened. In this video, we're going to answer all your questions, not only regarding her death, but also her life and many professional achievements. So take a seat as we look at the impressive life of this inspiring woman. The life of any race driver might be full of adrenaline and achievements, but inevitably it also entails a lot of danger. While the percentage of deaths in this profession is not as high as for other dangerous careers, tragedies still happen from time to time. Unfortunately, Jesse Combs' life came to a tragic end on the 27th of August 2019 in a terrible car crash in the Albert Desert, located in the southeastern corner of Oregon. At the time of the accident, she was trying to break the land speed record previously set by Kitty O'Neill in 1976, when her vehicle suddenly hit an unknown object in the track, so crashing at high speed and being engulfed in flames just afterwards. The collapse of the vehicle's wheel assembly was determined as to why the accident specifically happened, although Jesse's death was officially determined to be caused by head trauma, which must have happened during the automobile crashing. The local sheriff's office and emergency services were called immediately, but by then it was already too late for Jesse. Just after her death, Jesse's boyfriend Terry Madden affirmed in an Instagram post that Jesse hadn't meant to continue trying to break the record after that event. That was to be the last time she ever got in that car. Jesse was survived by her parents and siblings, but she surely also had the love of her friends and people who admired her strength and dedication. In June 2020, it was confirmed that Guinness World Records had recognized Jesse Combs as the title holder of the land speed record in the female category. While the accomplishment became a source of happiness to any of those who knew how important this goal was for Jesse, the news was bittersweet as well. Just as Jesse's boyfriend Terry Madden affirmed on his Instagram page, achieving such a feat was one of her biggest goals. It didn't stop him from being sad about it. No record could ever be worth her not being here. As the Guinness World Record states on its website, Jesse was the first person to improve the record in over 40 years with an average speed of 522.783 miles per hour, clearly surpassing the previous record of 512 miles per hour, truly confirming the honor of her being named the world's fastest woman. So who was Jesse Combs? It's not easy to summarize all the things Jesse did in her life. Besides her well-known career accomplishments as a driver, she had many other talents that led her to be recognized off the racetrack as well. Jessie was a South Dakota native, having been born in Rockerville, but she, along with her parents, Jamie and Nina Combs, and siblings, moved to Piedmont when she was still just a child. Jessie has several siblings and step-siblings, resulting from her parents' subsequent marriages after divorce. If you wonder what led Jessie to pursue a career as a race driver, the answer is simple, but still interesting. Ever since she was a child, her love for adventure was well supported by her parents. And as stated on her website, besides her well-known hunger for adventure and anything new, Jessie also wasn't easily defeated by failure and instead kept trying until she achieved her goal. If you don't believe it, you might peruse her curriculum vitae. She actually rejected a scholarship to study design in favor of trying to become a professional snowboarder. Then she moved to Wyoming to enroll into a steel fabrication degree at Wyotech. Very loyal to her love for automobiles, she even built a car for an auction exhibition at the end of her career, something which is clearly impressive and relatively uncommon. After graduating from Wyotech, nothing could stop Jesse Combs. She started working as a car builder and soon found her way into the TV industry when she joined the crew of Spike TV's show Overhaulin' as a builder. It wasn't long until her talent and charisma stood out and she was selected to join the then new series Extreme 4x4 as a host, along with Ian Johnson. Extreme 4x4 premiered in early 2005 and was set to become a show guide about creating or improving existing cars into better functioning driving machines. In addition to that, the series showcased the US motorsport scene by pointing the spotlight at various race events and those who were involved in them. Maybe her job was only as a host, but Jessie clearly liked to do more than that. In Extreme 4x4, the audience had the opportunity to see her either in the studio or driving big cars around in her hometown, as well as on the racetrack. Unfortunately, Jessie had to reconsider her life choices severely when, in 2007, a bandsaw fell on her during the filming of an Extreme 4x4 episode and severely injured her spine. The diagnosis wasn't very promising at first, 
and it was expected that she would have to use a wheelchair, but never a woman to go up easily. She spent several months going through surgery and therapy until she was totally recovered. However, that was the end of her appearances in the show, and she decided to chase other professional opportunities. Her departure from Extreme 404 was the right thing to do at that point, especially considering the many other opportunities which were awaiting her. Following her recovery, Jesse Combs made several appearances as a guest in race events and in other car center TV shows. However, her next big opportunity came in 2009 when she joined the cast of Discovery Channel's stellar show Mythbusters, filling in for the main host Carrie Byron during her maternity absence. Mythbusters is a series quite different from what Jesse had been used to doing. The show wasn't centered only on cars, but entailed a variety of topics related to science and engineering. The interesting part is that in Mythbusters, Jesse also got to show off some of her other best abilities as an industrial builder and artist when required during the year she appeared in it. Jesse Combs' first appearance in the TV series Overholland dates back to the beginning of her career when she appeared in it as a car builder until she left for Extreme 4x4 sometime later. However, in 2012, she would rejoin the show, though this time it was as a host. Although Overholland has had several hosts throughout the years it has been on and off the air, each of them brought something special to the show. When it comes to Jesse, not only was she charismatic enough to be a good presenter, she was an expert in the car field as well and brought a lot of her expertise to the series, something which was easily recognizable even to those who hadn't known about her prior to this appearance. Her cool and very likable personality added to her outstanding ability, intrepid attitude and efficacy were well known, but those were just a few of the many good traits Jesse Combs had. As her then co-host Chip Foose affirmed, he had known about her impressive building skills ever since she appeared in the show's premiere in 2004 as part of the Team A when she was still studying in Wyotech. The impression she left on him was obviously good, as he even gave her the nickname Godspeed Jesse. She ended up leaving Overhaul in 2013, but that wasn't the end of her TV career by a long shot. Jesse's biggest passion was always working on cars, so it wasn't surprising that she decided to leave Overhaul in 2013 to join Muda Trend's All Girls Garage, which was clearly a series which allowed her to showcase her car building abilities in a better way. As you might imagine by only hearing the show's name, All Girls Garage was solely centered on a group of women and their car fabrication skills, forming a well equilibrated team that didn't leave behind details of the building process for the sake of TV time. Though unfortunately, Jessie ended up leaving All Girls Garage not long after its debut. She continued appearing in 1001 Car Things to Do Before You Die, which was a project she had been on board with since 2011 and which lasted for several years. Then in 2015, Jessie joined How to Build Everything, a series focused mostly on science and anything to do with it. However, the show was far from being too technical as it was known for showcasing and proving several types of facts and theories with experiments which let the audience appreciate the insight on how things actually function in a simple but entertaining way. Jesse's role in the series was demonstrating some of the experiments involving cars, and those were surely a sight to behold. Throughout her career, Jesse Combs appeared in a handful of TV shows dedicated to car fabrication and upgradings, out of which Break Room, Two Guys Garage, and even Jay Leno's Garage can be mentioned. She also made her debut as an actress in the comedy film Intervig Monsters and Bigfoot which ended up as a TV project before her death, though Jessie's prowess as a car builder and metal artist is something she clearly learned to do with a lot of effort. It's undeniable that her career on TV helped her push those abilities into the big leagues and gain more well-deserved recognition through it. Her easygoing personality was certainly the definitive trait that ended up winning her the hearts of many people. We already mentioned Jessie's adventurous personality led her to become a race driver. But if you're wondering if there's someone who inspired her to do so, the answer might surprise you. She actually followed her grandmother, Nina DeBose, steps, who back in the 1920s raced Stanley cars and modeled for Goodrich tires. While cars were her biggest passion, Jesse Combs still had to train in several fields such as drifting, evasion and stunt driving before taking the big step and debuting in the race world. That didn't happen until 2011 when she placed second in the Baja 1000 race and later in 2014 won the Ultra Four Stampede's first spot. The following years, she was placed in the top positions of several race events such as the Ultra Four American Rock Sports, Rally Aisha de Gazelles and Gambler 500 Mini Moto Enduro. Besides all of those impressive feats, Jessie also set a variety of speed records throughout her career. In 2013, she officially became the fastest woman on four wheels by setting a land speed record of 398.954 miles per hour during the American Eagle Supersonic Speed Challenger, breaking the record set by Lee Breedlove in 1965. 
In September 2016, Jesse broke her own previous land speed record by running at 477.59 mph during the other American Eagle event. In 2017, Jesse was the Grand Marshal of the Rally Mayor's Ride, which was an impressive feat on its own as she was the first woman to ever hold the position in the event's long 70-year history. There's no way we describe Jessie Combs in only a few words, and neither could we summarize her career as simply a race driver. Her contributions to the profession go well beyond titles, and she set a precedent for other people, and especially women, to follow her footsteps and do what they're truly passionate about, regardless of its complexity, or if it was in a previously male-dominated industry. To honor such an icon, in 2019, the Jesse Combs Foundation was launched to support women who wish to pursue careers in the race field. As its website states, the mission is to educate, inspire, and empower the next generation of female trailblazers and stereotype breakers. This confirms once again that Jesse Combs will be remembered as the legend she truly was and how much she inspired those who got to see her both on the racetrack and off it. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.